slowdown time, rain destruction from above in a jet-powered armor suit, or pilot a super-powered hamster ball. In Overwatch, every hero has a unique set of devastating abilities. I used to play Overwatch all the time, and my wife still does play on a very regular basis. I can't say for certain why there's a need for Overwatch 2, but the fact that it is launching free to play with a battle pass should dial up some exposure. There are also a few gameplay tweaks like pinging and only allowing one tank per team, but Overwatch fans should know exactly what to expect when Overwatch 2 launches on the PlayStations, Switch, and the Xboxes on October 4th. Dakar Desert Rally is the biggest and most epic off-road rally racing adventure ever developed. This next generation racer features true off-road rally action from the official 2020 to 2022 Dakar raids with authentic vehicles, realistic physics, dynamic seasons, and weather. Now my favorite racing series is easily Forza Horizon. A lot of that comes from the variety of vehicles and environments you can encounter. There is a variety of racing disciplines as it relates to the vehicle types in this game, so that's a plus. I guess I'll just have to get used to the desert environments when Dakar Desert Rally comes to the PlayStations, the Xboxes, Switch, and Epic on October 4th. Europe is in the middle of a religious upheaval and many preachers predict that the end of the world is near. It is 1428 and the Hussites have just set out on their Silesian campaign. These heretics appear to be the biggest threat in this kingless country. But true evil of a completely different kind is lurking nearby and it does not intend to engage in religious disputes. This game has an interesting look to it, what they coin as stylized isometric graphics. It looks dark and foreboding, and my first thought is that fans of slower-paced CRPGs might have an interest in this game. 1428 Shadows Over Silesia comes to Steam on October 4th. Dread is a first-person, four-player, online co-op survival horror game. Explore haunted environments ranging from abandoned manors, the underground catacombs below Paris, abandoned schools, and more. Investigate, find evidence, and get out to get paid. Or stay and figure out how to cleanse the location of the spirit. This game looks creepy, and it seems like it does more with the environments than a game like Phasmophobia. It also promises that each spirit has its own abilities while also including the ability to possess players. Dread comes to Steam on October 4th. Experience a working day as a medieval German plague doctor, Oswald Keller. Make diagnoses, prescribe treatments, and even perform surgery. You'll also have to face the ignorance of the population and stand up to superstition. It's dangerous work, but it's your only chance at finding the cause of the Black Death. This short point-and-click adventure has you solving medical puzzles, experiencing branching narratives, and existing in a moody medieval pixel art world. The Plague Doctor of Wipra comes to Steam on October 5th. Bots is a top-down shooter roguelite with an emphasis on bullet hell action. Switch between two characters, explore and clear areas full of monsters, unlock abilities, customize your characters, die, learn, and retry to save the world. This one is up my alley for sure. Roguelite? Check. Bullet hell? Check. Frantic? Check. 
This is the perfect example of why I find these videos meaningful. This was completely off my radar prior to researching for this week, and it's now one of my most anticipated games of the near future. Bybots comes to Epic and Steam on October 5th. Sharpen your sword, refill your quiver, drink a mana potion, and get ready, because you'll need it if you want to defeat the not-at-all-evil Jester and his entourage of horrifying monsters that have taken control of Revalia Castle. In this comical roguelite adventure, you'll play the role of one of four main characters whom you can switch between at any time. The trailer doesn't offer up too much, but this game looks like a cell-shaded dungeon crawler that features a cast of colorful characters and enemies. How the gameplay holds up remains to be seen, though. Revalia Dungeon Raiders comes to Steam on October 5th. When you start any level for the first time, it might seem to be almost too easy to beat. But these levels evolve when you play further. Every time you beat any level, the level changes somehow, and you need to play it again. Three times. Triple take. Okay, I think you got it. The game's extremely minimalistic art style, for once, doesn't really bother me too much. While at first glance it looks like your typical technical platformer, but as you can see in parts of the trailer, it looks like things get pretty crazy. Triple Take comes to Steam on October 6th. Stay Out of the House is a stealth-based VHS-style slasher horror with low-poly visuals reminiscent of the PS1 era. This is the game your 90s self always wanted. Avoid the butcher in their own home or get taken straight back to your cage with time running out. If you've played the haunted PlayStation demo disc or if you're a fan of the Dread X collections, this game will be right up your alley. It features that low-poly art and mechanics that are reminiscent of PS1 classics. Stay Out of the House comes to Steam on October 6th. Superpower 3 is the most complete geopolitical simulation set in the contemporary world with elements of management, diplomacy, and real-time strategy. Rule the world or challenge your knowledge about demography, economics, military strategy, as well as political issues across the globe. Those are a lot of words that carry a lot of weight, that bounce directly off my brain. I've never been a strategy game fan, and this sounds like a strategy game on steroids. For those that want to flex their strategic muscles, look for Super Power 3 when it comes to Steam on October 7th. Fans around the world can't wait to unbox their own LOL surprise doll, and you're about to make their dreams come true. Choose your character and bring the LOL surprise doll store to life, as you collect fierce dolls with glitter, hearts, diamonds, and more. I don't know. Are these like new Bratz dolls? Are Bratz dolls still a thing? Either way, this game looks like it plays similar to Undercooked, I'm not super sure why, as I'm not really understanding what moving from point A to point B is entailing, but maybe fans of the series know something I don't. LOL Surprise, BB's Born to Travel comes to the Playstations, Switch, the Xboxes, and Steam on October 7th. A 
story of justice and friendship where humans, elves, and dwarves join forces, or so one book hope, bringing together classic pixel art, nostalgic references, and class-based characters and upgrading, this retro RPG is trying to harken back to the classics of yesteryear. Personally, I think this game looks great. It goes for a more NES aesthetic, which I usually don't prefer compared to SNES, but there's something about the art that really stands out to me. There may be additional depth as classes and character boards play a role, but as this is a Kemco published game, I'll once again keep my guard up. Dragon Prana comes to the Xboxes and Steam on September 7th. Short and sweet. Admittedly, this feels a little like the calm before the storm. Maybe not next week, or even the week after. But at some point, the floodgates are going to burst open, and I'll be back to wondering if I'll hit my deadlines. Such is life. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you next time.